yogis, welcome to today's class. Today we're going to work on the strength of our back. So, and we're going to do it in a special way. We're going to do it in a power flow. So, to get ready, let's just do some warm-up exercises. Come on to all fours. Make sure that your wrists are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. And then round your back. Tucking your belly, look down towards your belly button, cut those. Then drop your belly at your back and look up. Round your back, tuck your belly, look down. Inhale as you drop your belly and look up. Exhale, round your back, tuck your belly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let's do it one last time. Drop your belly, look up, inhale, and now exhale into a nice neutral spine. Bring your right arm up towards the ceiling and look up. Bring your hand down and slide it through. Release your right ear and shoulder completely down. Bring your left hand to your lower back or all the way to the crease of your hip. And if you want to, straighten your left leg and lift it up. And release, drop your left hand and lean down. Bring your right arm up towards the ceiling, look up. Bring your hand back down, all fours. Bring your left arm up, look up. Bring it down, slide it through. Bring your right hand back. And if you want to, straighten your right leg and lift. And release. Drop your right hand and knee down. Bring your left arm up towards the ceiling. Look up. Bring your hand down. All fours. Walk your hand slightly forward. Tuck your toes under. Keep your legs bent. Lift your knees off the ground. Bring your chest towards your thighs. Your back nice and long. And then straighten one leg at a time. Until you feel ready to straighten both legs. In downward dog. Come on to your toes, lower your hips into plank pose. Hug your elbows into your ribs, slow your body into low plank, hold your body off the ground if you can. Release down, lighten your feet, bring your arms in front of you and lift your right arm and your left leg up as much as you can. And release. Let's change sides. Bring your left arm and your right leg up. And release. Bring your hands under your shoulders, hug your elbows into your ribs, and feel your heart of the floor the way up into cobra. Come on to all fours, tuck your toes under, lift your hips, downward dog. Come on to your toes, lower your hips into plank pose. Hug your elbows into your ribs, lower your body into low plank, hold your body off the ground if you can. And release down, flatten your feet. Bring your arms beside your body and leave your hands and your feet on the ground and just lift your chest into a very sweet back bend. And to release. Bring your hands under your shoulders and inhale into cobra. Exhale into downward dog.
Come on, feel those slowly the hips into plank pose. Hug your elbows into your ribs, slowing your body into low plank. And release down, flatten your feet. Let's try locust pose. Bring your arms beside your body and lift your legs, lift your chest. Reach back with your hands, locust. And release. Drop your legs, bring your hands under your shoulders, inhale into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Come on, dear toes, slowly your hips into plank. Hug your elbows into your ribs, lower your body into low plank. And release down, flatten your feet. We're gonna try locust again. Bring your hands beside your body, lift your legs, lift your chest, reach back with your hands, locust. And now this time, open your arms to the sides. Lift, breathe. Bring your arms in front of you. Open your arms to the sides, lift it up and breathe. Bring your arms back into the original locust. Release your legs down, bring your hands under your shoulders, inhale into cobra, exhale downward dog. It feels great to stretch the back after such a strong back bend. And this way we build a back that's not only strong but flexible at the same time. Come on, dear toes, slowing your hips into plank pose. Hug your elbows into your ribs, lower your body into low plank. And release down, flatten your feet. Bring your right arm in front of you, bend your left knee, get hold of your foot or your ankle with your left hand and lift everything up off the ground. Breathe. release. Let's just change sides. Release your left foot down. Your left arm in front, bend your right knee, get hold of your foot with your right hand and lift it up. And release. Bring your hands under your shoulders, inhale into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Come on to your toes, lower your hips into plank pose. Hug your elbows into your ribs, lower your body into low plank. And release down, let's try locust once more. Bring your arms beside you and lift it up. Now this time you can choose to stay in locust or if you want to for a deeper back bend, bend your knees. Get hold of your feet or your ankles with your hands and lift everything up off the ground as much as you can. The idea is to have as little of your body in touch with the ground. Bow pose. Breathe. And release. Release your legs down, bring your hands under your shoulders, inhale into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Come 
Come on, do you feel slow in your hips into plank? Hug your elbows into your ribs, lower your body into low plank. And to really stand flat in your feet. This, one, this time we're going to get into cobra and we're going to align this pose properly. Hug your elbows into your ribs and feel your heart of the floor the way up into cobra. Now, bring your awareness to your hands and make sure that the base of your index finger is right down on the ground so you can feel the whole of the palms of your hands on the floor. Hug your elbows into your ribs, drop your shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind, push your chest between your arms. Press your hips and your pubic bone down into the ground and straighten your legs. So point your toes back so your legs are part of your pose. Cobra. Tuck your toes on and lift your hips down with them. Come on to your toes, lower your hips into plank pose. Hug your elbows into your ribs, lower your body into low plank, and this time through to cobra. Now, this time we're going to take it all the way into upward dog, in which case, straighten your arms, straighten your legs, you're pressing through your feet, and then allow your hips to come off the ground. So, this is upward dog or hanging cobra. Your hips are not touching the ground, that's the difference. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips down with them. And have a look at your hands and step or walk your feet forward and slowly uncurl your back all the way up. Roll your shoulders back and let them drop comfortably down. And now let's stand properly in mountain pose. Lift your toes, engage your knees and your thighs, keep them tight. Bring your toes down to the floor, try to spread them. Engage your core, so tilt your pelvis, drop your tailbone, your belly button will move naturally back towards your spine. Lift and engage your pelvic floor, Mula Banda. Roll your shoulders back and down, point your fingers, tuck your, your chin in slightly so your neck is long. This is Tadasana or mountain pose, the correct way of standing, not just in yoga. And now inhale as you grab a big circle of sunshine. And as you exhale, fold forward. Come on to your fingertips, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or jump your feet back. High plank, low plank. Inhale, up or down. And exhale, downward dog for five breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Step or jump forward, inhale, halfway left. Exhale as you bow. Inhale as you stand up. Exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart. We're going to do five rounds. Second one, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, step or jump back. Heart plank. Low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you bow. Inhale, stand up. Exhale with your hands in front of your heart. Third round, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, one. 
two, three, four, five. Step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Fourth round, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale, low plank. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Let's do one last round, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale, low plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you bow. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Release. Drop your hands, bend your knees, inhale into chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot forward, ground your back foot. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hands, low plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hand, slow plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, one. Two. Three. Four, five, step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, bow, bend your knees, inhale into chair pose, and exhale, stand up with your hands in front of your heart. Second round, drop your hands, bend your knees, inhale into chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hands, slow plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. 
left foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hands, slow back. Inhale. And exhale, downward dog, five breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down. Bend your knees, inhale into chair pose. Exhale, stand up, bring your hands to your heart. Third round, drop your hands, bend your knees, inhale into chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale, low plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hands, slow plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hands, slow plank. Inhale. Exhale. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Bend your knees, inhale into chair pose. And exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart. Fourth round, drop your hands, bend your knees, inhale into chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale, low plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hands, slow plank. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hands, slow plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Bend your knees, inhale into chair pose. Exhale, stand up, bring your hands to your heart. Last round, drop your hands, bend your knees, inhale into chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale, low plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hands, slow plank. Inhale. Exhale. 
left foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hands, slow plank. Inhale. And exhale, downward dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Bend your knees, inhale into chair pose. And exhale, stand up on your hands in front of your heart. Close your eyes, press your thumbs against your chest. And notice how your body is feeling at this time. Notice the rhythm of your breath. Notice the rhythm of your heart against your thumbs. Notice. Maybe some pain and heat, maybe some sweat. The way that your body adapts and copes with movement. And release. Now shift your way to your left leg. Bend your right knee, bring your foot back. Get hold of your foot or your ankle with your right hand. Bring your left arm up. Chi mudra if you want, so press your feet. So your index finger and your thumb are in touch. And then press your foot against your hand and slip into the dancer. Feel free to lean forward if it helps with your balance. Release your left arm down and slowly bring your right knee through and into your chest. Get hold of your knee with both hands, bring it in. And release. Bend your left knee, step your right leg back, lunge. Sink into a lunge, look forward, find your balance and inhale as you reach up with both hands. Exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Sink, bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee and twist to the left. And release. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale, drop your hands, step your foot back leg. Hug your elbows into your ribs, slow your body. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Have a look at your hands and step or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Shift over to your right leg and bend your left knee, bring it back. Get hold of your left foot with your left hand, your right arm up, chin mudra if you want, and press your foot against your hand and lift into the dance. Release your right arm down and bring your left knee through and into your chest. Get hold of your knee with both hands. Find your balance again. And really, spend your right knee, step your left leg back, lunge. Sink into the lunge, look forward, find your balance and inhale as you reach up. Put your hands together, exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart and sink. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and twist to the right. And really, spring your hands in front of your heart. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale, drop your hands, step your foot back, plank. Hug your elbows in, know your body. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Have a look at your hands and step or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you bow. Inhale, stand up. 
Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, heart or left. Exhale, step or jump back. Low plank. Inhale, up and down. Exhale, down and down. And now draw up your knees. Walk your hands up and kneel up. Bring your hands to your lower back. Push your hips forward so your hips are right on top of your knees. Flatten your feet and lean back. Feel free to keep looking forward or if you want to let your head drop back. And release. Look forward first, drop your hands down to the floor, tuck your toes under, lift your hips, downward dog. Have a look at your hands and step or jump forward, inhale, up or lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale, low plank. Inhale. Exhale, down the dog. And drop your knees again. This time, keep your toes tucked down and walk your hands up. Now, we're going to try to reach for the heels. However, if you don't feel that your back is too flexible, is flexible enough or strong enough, feel free to do what we just did. Otherwise, bring your hands to your heels. Keep your hips on top of your, of your knees so you don't lose the back. And you should feel a stretch in the front and a squeeze in the back. Now, if you think you can take it further, flatten your feet. If you do not have any neck issues and you want to, let your head drop back, come on. And release. Rest, look forward. Bring your arms down to the ground. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips, downward dog. And have a look at your hands, step or jump forward, inhale, halfway out. Exhale as you bow. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale, low back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now we're going to go down to the floor, so I'm going to put our hands and step or jump your feet into a seated pose. We're going to get into bridge pose. So bring your feet in front of you and lie all the way down on your back. Bring your feet in close to your hip width apart, your arms beside your body to start with. Press through your feet and feel your back off the floor. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling bridge. And if you want to interlace your fingers, tuck your shoulders under, lift your hips. Notice the components of your back bend. So there's a stretch at the front, there's a squeeze in the back. And release, release your hands. Your shoulders are very slowly, one vertebra at a time, release your back down to the floor. Now, this time, you can either cross your ankles, grab your big toes, and drop to sitting, 
Or you can try Chakrasana if you can. In which case, bring your legs back, bring your feet down, bring your hands beside your head, and have a go at lifting your hips up into down dog. And then have a look at your hands and step or jump your feet into a seated pose. Let's get into a second back bend. Your feet down on the floor with the help of your hands. Release your back completely down. Okay, this time we're going to try wheel pose, which is a more advanced and deep back bend. So, if you don't want to try, you can get into bridge pose like we did, or for the wheel, bring your hands down to the floor, your fingers pointing in towards your shoulders, your elbows pointing up. Press through your hands and your feet, and bring the crown of your head to the floor. Now, this might be it, in which case, just press through your feet and deepen that back bend. But if you think you can for the full pose, Straighten your arms. And really, wherever you're at, take your time as you slowly come all the way out of the pose. Once you have, bring your knees into your chest. Give them a nice good hug in. Give your back a beautiful massage. And now, once again, you can either cross your ankles, grab your big toes, and go to sitting, or try to cross and once more. Your feet back, down on the floor, your hands beside your, your body, and press through your hands. Lift your hips down the dog. Have a look at your hands, and step or jump your feet into a seated pose. Okay, now we're going to get into shoulder stand, so make sure that you have space behind you. If you need to, move your body all the way to the top of your mat and lie all the way down flat. Bring your knees into your chest and keeping your leg and, oh, and kick your legs up into shoulder stand. Bring your hands to your back. Walk your hands along your spine towards your neck so your back is nice and long. Have a go at straining your legs up into shoulder stand. Now let's try plow pose. Bend your knees and bring them to your forehead or as close as possible. And then have a go at straightening your legs back towards the floor behind you. If you want to, interlace your fingers. If you're comfortable in plow, interlace your fingers, release your head, hands down. And really, very slowly, one vertebra at a time, bring your back down to the floor. See if you can keep control over your body without rolling out of the pose. That's the strength of your core that allows you to do that. Once your back is fully down on the ground, keep your lower back on the ground as you keep lowering your legs down to the ground. Let's try fish pose. Slide your hands under your hips, your thumbs touching. Draw your elbows in towards each other under your back. Point your toes and lift your, and come up onto your elbows. You can keep looking forward. Make sure that you're opening your chest up. Or if you don't have any neck issues for the full pose, let your head drop back. Bring the crown of your head down to the ground. To release first, look forward, and then release your whole body down to the floor. Your hands and your arms from under your body. Extend your right arm to the side. Bend your right knee, and with your left hand, bring your right knee all the way across the line of your body to the left. Roll onto your left side, and look over your right shoulder.
and let's change sides, roll all the way onto your back and release your right leg down. Extend your left arm to the side, bend your left knee. With your right hand, bring your left knee all the way to the right and look over your left shoulder. And release, roll all the way onto your back, release your left leg completely down. Let your legs drop, let your feet flop, your arms beside your body. Have a bit of a play with the distance of your hands from your body so that your shoulders drop comfortably down. The palms of your hands facing up in a receptive manner. Your neck nice and long. Close your eyes. This is Shavasana. We're going to practice meditation in Shavasana today. So make sure that you feel as comfortable as possible in this pose so that you can keep your body still during that practice. Today we're going to do a brief meditation on sensations. So start by bringing your awareness to what is happening around you. Notice your sense of sight, notice your sense of taste. Quite passive right now, but they're still there. Bring your awareness to the sounds. Listen to all those sounds that are coming from outside. Maybe cars, maybe wind, maybe rain, maybe children or other people in your house, the sounds of the room, maybe a clock or an appliance, the sound of my voice sounds of your body. Bring your awareness to your sense of smell. Notice the smells of the room. If you're burning something, the smells. If you've got carpet, the smell of, of your carpet smell of your yoga mat, the smell of your clothes, the smell of your body. Bring your awareness to the sensations on your skin, the ground under your body, different textures and temperatures. the temperature of the room, and those parts of your body that are exposed to it. The soft, gentle touch of the fabric of your clothes on your skin, the warmth that they provide. All those sensations that are coming from outside your body. Sensations are the impact that the world has on your physical body. It's where they meet and it is the only way that you have to experience what is happening around you. Only through sensations. Bring your awareness to those sensations that are coming from within your body. Notice if you're hungry. Notice if you're thirsty. Notice the feel inside your throat. Notice if your belly is rumbling. 
notice and feel your breath. Maybe the beating of the of your heart. Notice that if there's an itch. Notice if there's a tickle anywhere in your body. Notice and feel all those sensations that are coming from within your body. And notice how it is through sensation and only through sensation that you can experience your own body. Notice all the sensations, the ones that are coming from outside, the ones that are coming from inside. The combination of them all. Notice how your mind interferes with your experience all the time. Like and dislike, pleasant and unpleasant. Comfortable, uncomfortable. Good, bad. Soothing, calming, irritating, annoying. The mind has something to say about everything that happens. For the purpose of our meditation, let go of the thoughts, images, anything that the mind is bringing up. Just immerse yourself in the sensations of the moment without any thought, without any useless judgment. The pure, perfect experience of what is happening right here, right now. Notice how those sensations change and move. No sensation is permanent. And every moment it's a different combination of sensations, making every moment special and unique. Every moment happens only once and then it's gone. Bring your whole awareness to the sensations of the moment. And keep this moment your full presence. very slowly start bringing movement back to your body. Put your fingers on your little toes. Like 
as your arms above your head. Stretch your arms back. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And when you're ready, roll on to your right side and sit up. Find a comfortable sitting pose. Your back as straight as you can. Bring your hands together. Close your eyes. I'm going to say a little prayer today. May all beings be free of the bondage of cravings and aversions. May all beings experience reality and truth. May all beings share love, peace, harmony and joy. And now bring your thumbs to touch a third eye lightly for clear thoughts. To your lips for true speech. And to your heart for compassion. Namaste. Thank you very much guys for watching and hopefully we'll see each other tomorrow again. Thank you.